Hi, my name is Felicia, and welcome to my new channel, Felicia by the Seasons. I'm so delighted that you decided to tune into my channel, and in today's video, I am going to be sharing another fall shopping haul from my local Dollar Tree. Now, if you've ever visited your local Dollar Tree, you know that all Dollar Trees are not created equal, and sometimes you have to visit several Dollar Trees at varying times throughout the week in order to find the items that you're looking for. Now, in this video, the items that I have gathered, I have collected them over an extended period of time for approximately about three to four months. So I just corralled everything together to form this particular shopping haul. So if that sounds like something you want to see, continue watching. Now, the first item are my signs that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Now, I don't recall seeing this particular sign in the Dollar Tree last season. Maybe they had it, maybe they didn't, and I just simply didn't start early enough with my shopping. But I thought this was um, a beautiful piece. It has Harvest Blessings, a cornucopia on the end, and it has the wood-like pattern on each side. Okay, we'll bring that up a little bit closer. Okay, the next one, I got this sign as well. And this one says, Hello Autumn. And you have your little mix of pumpkins on one side. Then you have a little mix of pumpkins on the other side. And then you have a little wheat pattern design on the corners of each of your um, parts of your sign there. Okay. So just allow me to readjust to get the next one. And the next one here, this one says, Welcome Fall. So you have your buffalo check pattern there, as you can see. And you have your pumpkin on the end with some leaves. Welcome Fall. Then you have on this corner, the same thing. You have a little corn on the cob with different colors in it, pumpkins and leaves. So I thought all of these signs were adorable and worth giving a shot. The next sign that I picked up, they had this last year, but I really did like this particular sign here. And it says, Autumn Blessings. And it has your white background. You have your orange pumpkin. You have your little sassel right here of the ribbon right there, as you can see. And it has that little, I can't call it that ship lap um, design, if you can see that on the back, which makes it more wholesome looking. So I thought that was a good option. Now, this is another sign that I noticed that they didn't have. It's the same as the previous one, but in a different color. And I just had to get it because for some reason, this color is making me happy. And this seems to be a pattern that I am going to be using throughout some of my fall decorating in my non-traditional color style. So I just picked that one up and I think that is adorable in a different and you have the ship lap and it's in that minty green or, or teal color that I like so much. And then the final sign that I picked up was this little sign. They had this last year in the white and also in the black and orange. This is the first year that I've seen it in that mint, teal, greenish looking color. And this one says, eat, drink, and give thanks. And then it is glitter. And it has some leaves at the bottom and some leaves on each corner. So those are all of the signs that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Now, this is another new sign that I noticed at the Dollar Tree, and they may have had this particular sign before, but I did not get it last year, and I just had to get it. These are some little wood signs that I saw, and this one says family. Now, you can take this particular item, and you can paint it, you can put glitter on it, you can bedazzle it, you can do whatever. It does come with this little hanger so you can hang it up or you can remove this particular, um, this piece right here and set it on a table or whatnot. But I thought it was cute. 
I don't know what I'm going to do with it or even if I'm going to use it this year, but I'm going to try and see. And then the next one I picked up, it has Gather. And it's made out of this pump board. It has the hanger as well. And this artificial pump board that it has on it is solid. It is a solid piece. And then the, it came in another one as well. And this one says, thankful. Hopefully you can, you can see all of that. It says, thankful. And we should be thankful for the things that we have. And it also comes with the hanger. So I thought that was a good piece that I can add. The next thing that I picked up, and I'm pretty sure that you've seen this throughout the other YouTube channel, was this little wreath rack here in the shape of a little witch hat, if you can see that, because it's pretty large. And I just picked one up just in case I wanted to use it or decorate with it. Not sure if I will this year, but I picked it up anyway. So it's a wreath form shaped in the style of a witch hat. The next one that I picked up was this pumpkin wreath. I didn't see this last year. Um, you would have to tell me in the comment section, let me know whether they actually had this last year, but I was not able to get it. I'm thinking about decorating with this. And um, so I just thought it was adorable. I wish I had got two because I could have attached both of them together and filled them up and put different items in it that I wanted. But I thought it was adorable for a dollar. Then the next item that I also saw at the Dollar Tree, and mind you that I had to go to different Dollar Trees in order to find these items. I did not find these items in just one single store. Now the next item I thought was adorable that I saw a lot of other YouTubers picking up and I just had to go and see did my local Dollar Trees have this one and lo and behold they did. And there's something about the particular, the letters or whatnot, they don't have all the letters of the alphabet. And this is a K. And truly, this is not initial in my name. It's not initial in my middle name. But I know a sweet little girl out there that her name starts with a K. And I'm going to make sure that she gets this so she can decorate her room for fall as well. Now, the texture of this is kind of hard. It's not made out of wood. This is like a hard resin type. And it comes with your burlap bow. And if you're going to decorate with it, you, it's beautiful enough to leave it just like it is. Or you can put your own touches on it. You can remove this and put your own bow. The sky's the limit is what you want to do with that. I also picked this up in the other color that they had. And this is more of a rustic type style here, if you can see that. And it is made out of the same thing. There's nothing on the back, just the lettering and the carving in the front. So I got this one because this is the letter for my middle name. So I am going to use it in my design, whether I show this part of it or just turn it around. I think it's adorable and for the price, you know, you can't knock it. I also picked up this item and if you saw some of my previous videos, when I, the videos where I showed you in how to decorate on the budget, using Dollar Tree plate chargers. I use these particular little pumpkins in that particular video. And that's where I got them from, the Dollar Tree. They come just like this, three in a pack. I thought they were adorable for the price. And they have this speckled print in it. To me, it looks like it's dark brown. The ones that I picked up, I've heard other YouTubers says it's, it's speckled with black, but mine looks more dark brown. But either way, I think it's a great price. And if you look on the back, it does have a clip so you can clip it on to whatever you're using. So only a dollar. So I just picked those up. And as you see, I have already used them. Another item that I picked up from the Dollar Tree are these LED pumpkin lights. I don't recall seeing these last year. Um, the ones that I picked up last year, they were leaves and I thought they were at very beautiful and I just had to pick up 
pick up these. And as you can see, you have the little bitty pumpkins. How cute is that? And then you have your battery pack here. It only uses two AA batteries. But just to let you know, you will have to take a little tiny screw and screw that out before you can put your batteries in there. So I think that would be a great addition if you're decorating. You could add these throughout the pattern that you're using. And so I just picked up two of those because I like to decorate with those. Now, the next item that I picked up, I purchased some more of these um, floral picks. I thought these were absolutely adorable. I had never seen these in the Dollar Tree before. And I visited multiple Dollar Trees and they only have in each tree. Each Dollar Tree, I noticed they only had a few. It was either three or four. There was never an abundance in each Dollar Tree at any given time that I visited. And so I thought this was a beautiful floral pick. You have your pine cone. You have your little white, creamy um, tint of yellow pumpkin here and the speckle on the top. You have your berries in multiple colors here. And then you have your leaf foliage here with the vein in it, in it as you can see. How beautiful is that? And it's that tealish, greenish color that I'm attracted to during this season. And I thought this was a good price because look at all the parts that you're getting to this particular floor pick. You're getting two vein leaves, you're getting a pine cone, and you're getting a bunch of berries to go with these as well including the pumpkin for only a dollar and that is from the floral garden fall pick that's the name of it and you can easily spot these out in the midst of all the traditional colors that they have going on at the dollar tree so i just picked up some of those as well and you know when you're decorating you want to get various items so that you will have some options. So when you start decorating your tear stand, if you're gonna put up a fall tree, those that are more advanced in their decorating that do fall trees, or if you're gonna do a wreath, you can use these throughout your wreath and um, you will have a beautiful wreath to display. I really don't know what I'm gonna do with them at this time, but I'm definitely gonna use them in some form or fashion throughout my decorating. And that was the first time that I saw that particular item. Now, let's take a look at one more thing that I want to bring to your attention here is the sign here. Now, I just want to let you know, if you haven't been to the Dollar Tree, this particular sign, they did bring this back in the other colors that they had last year. They had it in the black with the gold glitter. They had it in the white in the gold glitter. And they had it in the orange. But I only picked this up. Now remember, when I shared in my previous video entitled Fall Decor Tips, I said that before you go out and do your shopping, that you should take inventory of the items that you already have so you won't accidentally be duplicating items that you already have multiples of. So I was fully aware when I did my when I did my inventory that I definitely did not have this color. So that's why I was able to go ahead and pick this up and I felt that the ones that I already have in my stash was enough that I didn't need to go out and purchase any more colors. I had enough. So just using those various tips that I showed you and I think that is every I've covered everything that I've obtained in that in my shopping haul. So I hope this was helpful for you. And I just want to encourage you to use those fall tips. Go back and see my other previous videos and um, take advantage of those. And also, I just want to let you know that I have posted up a video. It's entitled My Summer Takedown. And what I'm doing is sharing with you of one of the items, my tear, my tear stand that I had decorated for the summer. And I'm showing you how I dismantled that tear stand. And also, to give you full disclosure, I've already traveled throughout my home, my main floor, 
and other homes that I had decorated for summer. And pretty much I have taken down all of that decor. The only area that I have to work on now is my kitchen area. And I will be working on that. I didn't feel like there was a need for me to show you all the boxes and all the bins and everything that I had put all my items in. So I just want to let you know so no one would be thinking that, oh, the only thing that she decorated was a tear stand. So no, there was different aspects throughout my home that I had decorated for the summer, but I just decided to share with you how I dismantled my tear stand. So I hope that this shopping haul encourages you, inspires you to go out and pick up some things that you need so you can um, create a beautiful home for the upcoming fall season. So until the next time, I just want to um, um, say thank you for watching my video today. Um, I encourage you to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And so until the next time, I will see you in the next video. Happy decorating.